Hello, how are you doing? My name is Professor RSK and I will be your facilitator. Don't forget to keep safe by washing your hands with soap and under running water. Wear your nose mask and practice social distancing. Do well to write all your questions in the comments section. And also note that your comments are welcome. Join me in class for today's lesson. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. You can also join us on all social media platforms by clicking on the link below. You can also read more lessons on our website www.profrsk.com Thank you. Welcome once again to our platform for learning. Today, we are doing something different. And we want to understand token currencies. Token currencies are currencies we have around us that we usually use in trading, in exchange for goods and services. All right. So we are going to understand how we can model a token currency and how we can arrive at our final answer. Without wasting much time, let us look at how we can model a token currency up to 10,000. All right, up to 10,000. So if it is in Ghana cities, because we are in Ghana, it is 10,000 Ghana cities. If it is in dollars, we can say $10,000. All right. So whatever your currency is, we are going to model a token currency so that we can use it to understand this subject matter. Join me as we discuss further. All right. So here we have our token currencies. We have our one Ghana. We have our 10 Ghana cities. We have our 100 Ghana cities. We have our 1,000 Ghana cities and then our 10,000 Ghana cities. So these are the token currencies we have. The first example we want to look at is how to model 3,245 Ghana cities. 3,245 Ghana cities. Right. I decided to break them down so that you will understand. So the first thing I want to do is that for the 3,000, I will go for the token currency indicated here, 1,000. So 3,000. So I have 1,000. Then I add another 1,000 to it. Then I add another 1,000 to it, making it 3,000. So 1,000 plus 1,000 plus another 1,000 will give me 3,000. Good. Then I go for the next number, which indicates 200. So 200, I come to my token currency that is indicating hundred so I take hundred then I am required to produce 200 so it is hundred and another hundred so hundred plus another hundred is giving me 
200. I hope you get it. So, 3,000, I have 1,000. Then I go for another token currency, 1,000. I add it to the first 1,000, I have 2,000. Then I add another 1,000 to it, I have 3,000. Good. Then I go for the next token currency that is indicating 200. So I have here 100. I take two of them, 100 plus another 100. Then I get 200. I have not ended. We are now coming to this place, which indicates 40. All right? So if it is 40, then I come to 10. So 10 plus another 10 is 20 plus another 10 is 30. Then I add another 10 to it. I have 40. So now I've gotten my currency, 40 Ghana cities. So the 10 plus another 10 plus another 10 plus another 10 will give me 40. So now I have 3,200 and then 40. Have I finished? No, I have not. Then I come to this one, indicating 5. So if it is indicating 5, I come to the 1. Then I pick 5 of the 1s. So I have 1 plus 1 plus another 1 and another and then the fifth one. So one plus one plus one plus one plus another one will give me five Ghana cities. So in total, I have 3,240 here. Then I come to add my five cities to it. One, two, three, four, five. Right. If you do not want to use the first method, you can go straight to use the second method where you will write 3 times 100 giving you 300. Good. 2 times 100 giving you 200. Great. 4 times 10 is giving us 40. And then 1 plus 1 plus 1 5 times will give us five Ghana cities. So let's add what we have gotten to see whether our answer is right. So zero plus zero plus zero plus five will give us five. Zero plus zero plus four will give us four. Zero plus two will give us two. And then three dash 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 will give us three. So our final answer still remains 3,245. All right. So let's look at example two. We are to model 5,121. You can decide to go for the first method of using repeated addition. So 5,000. I'll go for 1,000. So 1,000, 1, plus another, plus another, plus another. 1, 2, 3, 4, plus another 1,000, making 5,000. Good. Then I have 100 here, so I'll take 100. Then I have 20, so I'll go for two of this one, so 10, plus 10, giving me 20, and then my 1, because it's 1, I write it here, 1. So if you want method 2, you can say 5 times, 5 times 1,000, giving us what? 5,000, and then we have 100, all right, so 100, it's still 100, 100, and then we have two of the tens, so 10, 
2 times 10. 2 times 10 is what? 20. And then 1. 1 still remains 1. So when we sum up, we have 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 0, 2 is 2. 0 plus 1 is 1. And then 5 dash 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 is 5. We have model our token currency. I believe this is simple enough for you to understand token currencies. I want you to practice more, solve more examples, and share with me on all my platforms. I'll be happy to see your questions coming in. I'll be happy to see your examples coming in. My name is Prof. RSK, making math very simple for you. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you in the next class.